overriding dimension style with existing dimensions. Here I have some dimensions placed already. If we go take a look at our dimension style, I'll modify it. You'll see my center marks are set to line and also over in my lines, my extension lines are offset from the origin a sixteenth of an inch. Now in many cases I might want to alter just one or two dimensions in the entire drawing. It's too much work to create a whole new dimension style just for one or two. So I like to override them. In this case I have this dimension gap of a sixteenth of an inch and I snapped onto the end of these center lines, it put a gap in there. That's not uh, kosher with the ASME. They would like it to be zero in this case. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on one of the dimensions, I'm going to right click, and I'm going to go to properties. In the properties palette, I can change any value and it will not change my uh, dimension style. So I'll change this to zero and you can see how when I now that that's healed that up it's connected this dimension with that center line. Okay I'll zoom in on it see how it's healed that up. So I'll click on this one right click and remember quick properties has limited things to change so it doesn't work as well but I can come down here and change this and still keep my dimension style intact. So I've added these two. Uh, so I override, overrode the dimension style with existing dimensions.